Hi, welcome back to Shruti Lakshmi's virtual classroom. Today we are going to be looking at how to find the degree of an expression. So let's start. First, let's learn about what a degree is. The degree of an expression is the term which contains the highest power of the variable. So let's look at an example. Here we have the term a power 2 or a square. Here our exponent is 2 and our variable is a. Remember an exponent is always the highest power of a term. So to find the degree of an expression you have to compare all of the terms and then determine which one is the highest. So in this term our degree is 2. Also, remember that the degree of any term in an expression can only be a positive integer and 2 is a positive number. Another thing to keep in mind is that the degree of an expression doesn't depend on how many terms there are but on the power of the variables in each of the terms. One more thing is that the degree of a constant term is always 0. So now let's look at an example. Here we have the expression b to the third power plus 5. Here 5 is a constant which means that it doesn't have an exponent. And in this expression there are two terms. The first being b to the third power and the second which is phi the constant. And remember a constant term degree is always 0. So phi's degree is 0. Now let's look at the first term which is b to the third power. Here 3 is our exponent. So that means our degree of this term is 3. And since we have a constant as our second term, our degree for this expression is 3. So now let's look at an example. Here we have an algebraic expression and we are going to split it individually term by term Find the degree of each term, write it down and compare to find the degree of the expression. So let's start with the first term. So 6x square y cube. Here both of the variables have exponents. And since the variables are being multiplied, we have to add their exponents. So 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. So the degree of term 1 is 5. Now let's look at term 2. 7x cube y. So here we have two variables but only one exponent. And if a variable doesn't have an exponent, it is considered to have an exponent of 1. Now since here the variables are being multiplied together, let's add the exponents. 3 plus 1 is 4. So let's write down 4. Now here we have the third term which is 5xy. Here we have two variables but none of them have exponents. So let's add in the exponents of 1 for each of them. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Here we don't have a fourth term in this expression. So let's write down as 0. Now compare all of these terms. Here the greatest number is 5. So that means the degree of this expression is 5. Now let's move on to the next expression. Here we have four terms so we will be able to fill in all of our boxes. Here we have 9 which is a constant term and the degree of a constant term is always 0. So let's write it down. Our next term is 2x square. Here we only have one variable and only one exponent. So the degree of our second term is 2 which is the exponent. Now let's move on to the third term which is 4xy. Similar to the one above both of these variables don't have exponents. So 4x power 1 times y power 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2. Our next term is 5x cube and here we only have one exponent and one variable. So our degree for the fourth term is 3. Now here the greatest of our degrees is 3 and so the degree of our expression is 3. Now let's move on to the last expression. Here we have 4 terms as well. 
Here, first term is p to the fourth power. And so our degree for the first term is 4. And our second term is p cubed. So our degree for term 2 is 3. And likewise for the third term. So 2. And here we have a constant for our fourth term. And the degree of a constant is always 0. So let's write it down. And the highest degree of all of these terms is 4. So the degree of this expression is 4. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell button. Bye. Thanks for watching.